In this video, we're going to start to explore some of the capabilities of the NetBackup IT Analytics Foundation package um, after we've affected some data collection. So uh, in previous videos, I showed how to set up a NetBackup collector and what's happened since that time, since that video was created, is I've proceeded to have some, some collection processes occur. What I've started with here is a, is a tab in the user interface that I suggest that you get comfortable with. I'm going to go to full screen here. <clears throat> and um, that, that tab is called the inventory tab. By default, that, uh, that tab will organize itself if you collect the icon that says default hierarchy here that I'm circling with the cursor. That will, uh, the inventory will organize itself uh, hierarchically in the sense of objects that have been collected. So in this very, very simple environment, I can see that I have collected from one backup server, one, my, my one master server that we connected previously. And this tiny, tiny little net backup master server has 11 hosts. Now what's interesting about the inventory tab is it's designed to give us quick access to information brand new to the tool. And it's uh, left hand controls what we see in the major right hand pane. So when I click on backup servers, as long as I'm in an inventory report view like I am here, um, I see a, a summary of whatever number of backup servers that I've selected. This could be uh, more than one backup server, one more, more than one master server. And if I had multiple master servers and I'd selected the top level, I'd see a summary across spanning those master servers. In this case, one master server really doesn't matter. Whichever level I select is the same. The, um, if I click to a different object type, in this case to hosts, now I see a, a di differentiation or a, a different display that's providing us a host group overview. And we'll talk more about this uh, in, a, in a couple of minutes. But what we can see here is just a quick affirmation that uh, what we what we see in terms of display is controlled. The other window there button that I want to talk about very quickly is this ability to switch between almost like a spreadsheet mode, which we call inventory list and inventory reports, which was that graphical view. So when I clicked on hosts and if I wanted to see sort of details around those hosts, I can, uh, by going to the inventory list, you could see how that, that changed. We went from a kind of a graphical view to a simple tabular view. And by the way, if I wanted to do something like add a host or uh, export a list of hosts, import list of hosts, or import host attributes, we're going to talk about those shortly, then um, all of those functions can be accomplished here. For a moment, let's go back to inventory reports and um, we'll go to our backup server. We've done some net backup collection and a couple of things that are immediately available to us is the uh, ability to see a summary by day of successes, warnings, and failures. All of the charts within uh, the NetBackup IT Analytics engine are uh, scalable as, as we're going to show a couple of things here, particularly for bar charts, for example. So if I want to focus in and uh, not see failures, or if I only want to look at partials and, and, and uh, incrementals, warnings, rather than successes, you can see how I can turn off portions of the, the table of contents here. The other thing that we can do with the tool is we can zoom. So if I wanted to zoom into a particular area and have things rescale, you can see how I could do that here. And uh, everything is dynamically done within the browser. I'm not actually hitting the database for this. And if I want to go back to my original, I can hit reset zoom. Now the whole inventory tab is actually based on a snapshot that's created when we first log in. So occasionally we will uh, be looking at information and we'll see an indication of latency in the information that's been collected. We would see that either with this icon being highlighted in red or we would see an indicator after a title that says uh, a little looks like a clock face with a, a, a arrow around it that would indicate that there's some uh, latency to the information that we're looking at. Now, inventory, as I mentioned, is designed to be a fast mechanism to get an invitation to invitation, sorry, invitation to information, my goodness. And uh, in the case of this environment, I can quickly see a summary 
uh, similar to what we're seeing here in the bar chart and whether I wanted to go to for example looking at successful jobs or more interestingly failed jobs probably I can either use the hyperlinks that are shown down in the executive summary you'll note that the executive summary is both job and client centric so you get the statistics uh, for each all offered up to you and um, in either case whichever way I'd like to go if I wanted to for example go and look at the um, the six failed backups that have been uh, recorded so far I can simply click on that segment of the bar chart and we're taken to those job summaries and um, we can see the details of those uh, we can see that there were actually uh, two job attempts created for each of those and they were uh, all with an exit code of 58 it could not connect to the server if I wanted to go and look at particular additional information for those I can do so I'm going to go ahead and choose to open in a new tab that way I'm stacking tabs along my side here and now I've drilled in and I can see additional information that uh, this was trying to uh, affect a SQL Server backup against uh, a server that I, I happen to know isn't running in this environment, which is why it couldn't be contact contacted. So uh, the idea is that from inventory, we were able to rapidly navigate in for additional information. Another capability of the inventory tab is the ability to, again, left-hand pane controlling what we see in the right-hand pane, is we can change uh, our, our view. We can add additional content uh, very, very quickly. So even if you are mildly unfamiliar with all of the templates that are available, as long as you can pick the object type here in the left-hand pane, you can go to the plus sign and the tool will recommend a variety of templates based on that object type that would be available to you. So for example, if I said, um, let's look at uh, our job volume summary and see what that looks like. There we go. If I wanted to look at other templates, I can do the same sort of thing um, all the way through uh, as we can see. So the organization of this content, if it's out of the box, the the information is controlled through uh, the tool it's part of what's been defined within the out-of-the-box feature functions and if if you've added templates on your own you get to uh, define how those will appear in this environment this same uh, function if I want these reports to persist these tabs to persist in my inventory experience every time that I come in I can simply pin them and just as you'd hope and expect as well. If I don't want a particular um, tab to show up or I want to close it, I can just exit to, to do so. And you'll note that here in inventory, depending on the object type, then the list of reports or report templates can differ. So in the case of, um, there's a strong overlap between hosts and backup servers, but if we started to add in other other content we would begin to see uh, different different information I talked about in a previous video about adding attributes and um, this default tab will organize itself around a locational attribute that one is provided out of the box based on customer surveys who said yes location would be a common um, organizational attribute so in this environment, what we did instantaneously is we changed our organization to uh, the location attribute first. And we can see there's a location A and a location B, and we can see that there, the backup server has a location attribute of location A, and then there are six uh, hosts that carry a location attribute of location B. We can see those listed here. If I change my focus, then I get a different set of objects that I could then go in and uh, for example look at job volume summary in this case we're going to be changing our focus to just those hosts that were selected now if you want a different organization than location you can do that with the gearbox 
and then for example I could um, I could organize around the attribute that we created under a separate video called brute just as uh, aware and how same same strategy we can see that ability to to change our focus we can open up these areas we can see what's in there and in this case there were two hosts that carry the object attribute fruit value banana finally many reports that have been rendered within uh, NetBackup IT Analytics have the ability to be flipped back and forth between uh, tabular and graphical summaries so if I go to the uh, upper options bar you can see I can choose to convert this to a table and instead of seeing that in bar chart form we're now seeing those backup volumes rendered in a per day fashion I can refresh that it had a slight latency to it um, and that's pretty spiff and in the same way that we were able to convert from bar chart in this case to table we can go back to our chart as well